Alright, hey there, I'm going to demonstrate to you how this Digitech Time Machine 7.6 second delay functions. So what I've got here is uh, my electric guitar, which is plugged into the back of the unit, into the input here, all the way to one end. And the output will be going into the amplifier that you see here, so you can hear everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the camera so that you can see everything that I do on the machine as a demonstration. Okay, so we just got a nice E chord here. First thing I'm gonna do is turn on the effect all the way here on the right. I guess to you it looks like the left. Anyway, um, click that on here. And so I have this set on flange, so you're gonna hear the flange effect now. What you're gonna hear is you can change the speed of it. Also the width go quite wide. More narrow. Probably for a flange effect you'll want it to be a little more flangey, right? Cool. Anyway, so the next effect that you have is a chorus right here. So I'm going to change these speed and width settings to be more appropriate for a chorus. And here's your chorus. Sorry, let me turn this down. Where are we at? Get a little more. So that's the chorus. Same thing, you can adjust the width and the speed of it. And you've also, for each of those options, you can still use the delay time, but that's going to make things a little wacky. Let's move on to the echo or the double. All right, I'm going to kill the speed and width so we just get a pure doubling. So what you'll see here is sort of like a slap back type thing. And that can be the delay time can be just the echo. All right, we'll go into the echo mode. Also got a trigger here for sampling. Now switch between sample and delay mode. You'll have to flip this toggle here. As I mentioned, the end of it snapped off, so I can usually just use like a screwdriver or something like that to just pop it back the other way. Um, you've also you've also got a uh, in what's called an invert feedback loop. So I'm going to switch over back to like the chorus or something like that, and I'll show you that guy functioning. <laughs> See, really, it fills it up a bit more. And I'm not sure how to completely use that one. I also mentioned that this knob is a little uh, scratchy. Uh, besides that, you've got your output mix from a complete cl a clean signal to a completely wet signal. You can adjust the output level as well as the input level and turn off the effect quickly here. Um, and on the back, the additional um, inputs that you have include the phase out, cancel record, kill delay, bypass, hold repeat, 
VCO control, pulse trig trigger pulse, and trigger foot switch. All those are going to be operated by 